today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because me and Carl have some issues with his disrespect and um, the way we get he get, treats me at the house. I told her that I resent her because, um, you know, just the things that I gave up uh, to obtain what we have is the relationship. Carl disrespects me in a way everybody else get treated like black, black queens, but I get treated like a B and every other derogatory word he can say. I want the judge to tell her that I do care about her and just to be more open-minded. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Kafrika West and Carl Duncan. The two of you have been together. Are you ready for this, Nick? Ready. 17 years, <laughs> five children together, but still no marriage. And Ms. Ms. West, you're here to say, if I don't get a ring, I'm out. Yes. Uh, so, Ms. West, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and how we got this far down the road? Uh, we've been together 17 years, but he doesn't believe in marriage now, so... When did no he way. tell you that? Uh, a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't true. A year ago? You haven't discussed it with him in the 16 years before? I don't believe yeah, that. Yeah. We've been engaged to oh. get married. Have you been engaged for 16 years and then last year you said, well, I really just don't believe in the institution altogether? Well, it, marriage is a deep situation. Like, I do see marriage. Like, I want to marry her, but I don't want to do a contract. Why? That's the whole, like, I wanted to walk down the aisle, but it's the contract situation. I just You just don't want to do it legally. You want to have a wedding right. ceremony, right. but you don't want the legal entanglements. Right, right. What do you think the legal entanglements are going to do to you? I don't think that's going to make us better or worse, you feel me? And then all of my people who I have seen married throughout my life been divorced. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, we sticking together longer than ever. Can I say this to you? It's not just about a contract. It's about uh, your legal relationships. For instance, if she goes into a coma, you're a legal stranger to her, so you can't make any decisions about her well-being. Her people will do that. It could be a cousin or something like that. Right. If one of you dies, the other one automatically gets their stuff, and that's all taken care of. It's, it, 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 it puts you in a better legal position vis-a-vis -vis each other. Right. Clearing that up for you, we will move on. <laughs> um... You say you believe he resents you because he thinks you ended his career as a rapper. Tell me about that. No, I didn't end it as a rapper, but he was up-and-coming rapper, so he was well-known. Up-and-coming? Yeah, he was well-known, but I got sick, and so I wanted to go home to be with my mom in another state. Mm-hmm. So he followed me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Mr. Duncan, do you hold resentment towards that as a function of that? Or, I mean, or do, were you happy to do it? It it, 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 it come in your mind, like, what, where I could have been. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. what, I was very well along with it. You feel what I'm saying? But then I did gain a lot, you know what I'm saying? Being able to be with my family and raise mm -hmm. my kids. So, you know, I don't resent it. Right, you know? right. But you do have... It's disappointing. It, yeah, it's, if yeah. you think if you had an opportunity I see opportunity all my friends to... and 2 chains and all these people who I grew up with... You were rolling with 2 chains. 2 chains, Luda and everybody. They really? still are on their way and doing their thing, you know, and, and I was there. You feel me? I was literally there. Now, were you there? I was there. there. Or, what, you know... They have there. entourages that don't yeah, go been, nowhere. I done been on billboard charts. I done had my own... I had my own lane. You feel me? I, I was always in my own really? lane. Really? Yes, ma'am. So. I Googled you and couldn't find you. Yes, well, you know... <laughs> Google Racket City and you should find me. You Google Google Racket City. You look... They have my name. Racket City? Hey, I racket. Googled that. Racket. It's a R-A-C-K. Oh, racket. Yes, uh, racket. Maybe I was Googling the you wrong thing. You was Googling thing. the wrong... Yeah. Okay. You was Googling <laughs> the wrong thing. All righty. <laughs> Because I like to know who I'm talking to. Yes, ma'am. You, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's all right. Do you appreciate the sacrifice that he made for you? I mean, even though uh, that was, you know, that was something you were the mother of his children, he should have done, but it was a sacrifice on his yeah, part. Yeah, but I didn't want him to give it up. Oh, I you wanted, didn't? No, I wanted him to pursue it. Uh -huh. And you were going to go home with mom and get it together while he had his action. Yeah, but he was adamant about being with the kids, so that's all. <laughs> You have got to love that about a man. Yeah. You have really got to love that about a man. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Mr. Duncan. Way to go. What do you think your current problem is? I think it's uh, 
my point of views on how I see the world. And um, right now, I think our uh, so-called religious difference, you know what I'm saying? So I think... Well, explain the nature of your religious differences. She's in the Bible and everything, and I ain't got nothing against it. I done been down the road. My grandmother was a preacher. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I done been Christian. I done been through the path of journey. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right, but I'm right. a spiritual person. I don't like to attach Jesus and everything to everything. So, you know. And I understand that that can be a difference. My mother believed, but my father didn't. And everybody got along fine, because on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, they were cooking and raising and doing right. everything. Is it a day-to-day -day difficulty, that religious difference? It can be, because I'm very uh, 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 much, uh, I guess, standing firm on what I see. You feel what I'm saying? I don't like to do with beliefs. I like to do with what I know, and I know who my creator is. I know who my creation is, who I came from, and I want her to do the same thing and my kids to know who we are and not look for their creator. Oh, so no you would like to have her shift her beliefs no, in line with you? not necessarily shift them, just to see where I'm coming from, just to at least look into where I'm coming from instead of just knocking it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, what is your response to his concerns in that I regard? I believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. so I pray, mm -hmm. and I have my kids pray, mm -hmm. and um, I believe that's how we've gotten so far, from praying and believing in God. Mm-hmm. But he... No, he he hates that I say, oh my God, like with anything because I don't curse. So mm -hmm. I put my words Jesus Christ instead of saying a curse word or something. Well, you know like that's that. that's worse in the Bible. That's worse than the cursing, <laughs> taking his name Thank in vain. You. I'm just saying. Thank I mean, you, if you're man. going down that road, go down the road correctly. Thank I you. don't curse though, so it's that's like that's the cursing itself. That's why I try to let but, her know. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It doesn't say don't say. You know, in the Bible or be in the Bible, it does say don't take what his he name does in vain. It's an abomination. Hmm? It's an abomination what he does. How he tries to make well, what, me what feel wrong. What do you wrong. say he does that it's an abomination? Yeah, he tries to make me feel wrong for believing in God. Is it the belief itself or is it the concern about the, it's the, belief. Of the teaching it's of the, the belief. children? It's the belief. Because yeah. when we're dealing with, uh, when we're dealing with words and we was taught in school that the compound words, you're putting words together, and I don't want to be the lie that belief is put, portraying on the word. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm with you. I'm with you. <clears throat> Next, we're going to talk to you about infidelity and anger. She claims that you call her the B words in front of your kids and that the kids often intervene. Is that accurate? Man, sort of. Wow! I'm wrong. I know. I know. I should wow! Know. It's the frustration part. You feel what I'm saying? And what are you frustrated about? Ms. West, you say that you were unfaithful to him some years ago, and that that's even though it was a long time ago, it still haunts you today. Why don't you tell me what happened? Um, I was, I reconnected with a, a ex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I regret it, though. I regret it. You regret it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did he, he discover? Yes, he, um, he found, like, I was basically caught in the act. Wow. I, I was out of state. So uh -huh. he called my voicemail, and he heard everything through my voicemail. Wow. Tell me what happened right when you found out how angry you were and if oh, you've yeah. gotten over it yet. If you got gotten over it, yeah, I'm over it because I didn't accept it, you know what I'm saying? It definitely mm -hmm. hurts if you, I done put everything into it and then the way that I found out, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you still, does it ever come up anymore? Does it ever pop into your mind? Do yes. you just trust her as a function thereof? <sighs> Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, to an extent. I mean, like, yeah, because she go out of town a lot. She go to see her mother in and out of town a lot. So it do come up in my mind, like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? You feel what I'm saying? Why you always out of town all the time? You feel me? So it's like, yeah. You know, but I trust her, though. You feel what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to be with her if I, if I didn't trust her. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I came to a point in myself where I do trust her because I love her enough. You feel what I'm saying? Do you believe he really trusts you or do you feel no, that... No, he don't trust me. Give me some uh, some examples that would demonstrate to me that he really doesn't, in fact, trust you. He still goes through my phone, so... <laughs> like, he'll bring up stuff, text messages and stuff that were in my phone. Do you still go through her phone, Mr. Duncan? I don't go through her phone. I go through your phone. Yeah, you were just <laughs> in my phone. You just said something about a text message last week. <laughs> well, I did. Yeah, I do. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, when she bring it to the truth, you know, everything yeah. is right, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we, we got to be completely honest here. Yeah, I'm, we're trying I'm to honest. get from point A to point B, facts, and if we, we're not truthful about, about where we are, we can't get where we're going. You right. know what I'm saying? You're right. So you do have stills yeah, lingering I said that. You know, I think, Yeah, I linger it out, but I do trust her, though. I trust her enough to be with her and, and to take her back because she didn't want me back. I wanted her back. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. You I, didn't want him back. I don't. We was we was done for a long time, like six, Ms. seven months. Miss West, you fit. You seem so disconnected and uninterested in the relationship. You seem like you're not engaged. Is and there's nothing wrong with it. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. But do you not feel invested in this anymore? I don't think that he is invested, so it's like putting up a wall with it. Just like going through the Protecting your heart like, because yeah, you know yeah, he's not all the way yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I always end up the one broken. I want to talk about that, and I also want to talk about the issues you say he has with anger. I taught constitutional law, so you don't want to go there with me. You don't even understand marriage contracts. So all I'm trying to do is make this woman happy. Would you pursue a relationship with someone who doesn't believe in marriage? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. You say you don't feel he's invested, and you also say that he has outbursts of anger. Can you give me some examples of that anger? Uh, the mood is really different every day, but it's like, it's, it's like he... He um, pings off of my mood. Instead of him just going with the flow, like, if I'm in a bad mood, he'll just automatically be in a bad mood. Mm -hmm. If I'm in a good one, he in a good one. But when I'm in a bad one, he'll get even madder or in a worse mood. Do you understand what she's saying? Does that at all ring a bell, or do you yeah, think she's misunderstanding? Of... Yeah, she's definitely misunderstanding. I'm mad because I want her to be happy. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I can't make her happy, I'm feeling like I'm losing. Okay. What I'm supposed to be doing. You and let me help you out there with <clears throat> Mr. Duncan. When somebody's in a bad mood and you want her to be happy, getting in a bad mood with her won't help her right. be happy. <laughs> right, right. What you're angry about is that she's messing up your day with her bad mood. Mm -hmm. So that irritates you, and so you get irritated. Like, how dare you mess up my day with all of that? If you are really a man of whatever spiritual inklings <laughs> that you have, because you seem to be deeply involved in whatever your belief system happens to be, one of those things has to be to be um, a person who can bring light and happiness to the person they contend to love. And right. I'm saying to you is don't allow your personal irritation at the fact that she's up upset even make it worse. You know, you, that's when you come in to court jester and try to make her happy. Do you right. see what I'm saying? Yes, because her life isn't about making yours perfect. That's Everybody's life is about making each other's better. Right. You with me on that yes, one? claims that you call her the B words in front of your kids and that the kids often intervene. Is that accurate? Man, sorta of, kinda, of, yeah. I mean, wow! I'm wrong. I know, I know I wow. should know. Wow! It's the frustration part. You feel what I'm saying? And what are just you frustrated action, about? Because just the, not even the frustration, it's just when you're, uh, when we're at it, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm not, I don't, I'm not a physical person, so it is no other way for me to do it. It's just verbal. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And I regret it and I apologize. Did you, you know tell her saying? to kill herself? No, I'll never tell her to kill herself. Did she ever tell you to kill yourself? Uh, run the car into a ditch. <laughs> Never tell her to kill herself. Yeah. Everybody gets frustrated. Yes, we do. Everybody gets angry. Then there's two kinds of responses. A childish response and a grown man response. You're and right. a grown man response is, I'm not going to call the woman who mothered my children out of know. her name in front of my children. Right. I will not disrespect her. I will not disrespect them. And deeper still, I will I'm not just, disrespect I'm myself yeah. by saying, I have attached myself to a bitch. Right. I got this thing. I don't know what your belief system is. I don't want to get too far into it because you can never disabuse people of their belief systems because that's the way it is. It is my hope that it makes them a better human and not just an excuse to be the, be the least that they can be. Right. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? So to, to, people speak 
in an elevated fashion about what they believe in their grand, their, their grand system, and then as soon as you get irritated, it you know, the mother the of your children is a bitch. It goes out the window. Wow. How do you spark a relationship that's burning out? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Are you really done if he doesn't put a ring on it? Uh, I don't know. Because he said that he was going to find another way to do it that we can get married without a contract. Yeah, you keep talking about a contract. All a contract is is, I promise you this, I promise you that. The state doesn't ask you to promise anything in particular. You decide what you promise her. And then she decides what she promises you, and then the state sees you as an entity for all of those legal purposes. I think you're a top reader. You read the first line of a paragraph of a whole lot of information, you, you make a decision based upon that first line, and you don't go into depth. And you have a long series of thoughts about why, you know, it's a contract. You don't even know what you're talking about. I it's so like Kanye in the 13th Amendment. See, exactly. <laughs> See, if you knew the 13th and the 14th Amendment, if you want to talk about contracts, then you know that the United States won the court, uh, 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 is a corporation and it's not a country. Listen, right? listen, I taught Constitution constitutional law in college. So you don't want to go there with me. You don't even understand marriage contracts. So right. all I'm trying to do is make this woman happy. Right. So let's not talk about all that. Do you believe that you can give her what she needs based on a new understanding of what marriage actually is? I don't believe it. I know I can give her what it is, but it, it ain't gonna be no uh, marriage and no contract. But that's what she wants. I know, but it's not what it's going to be. But I just explained to you that the marriage is not the contract that you believe it to be. <clears throat> that's for you to say. The facts are the facts. What the law says and what it does are facts, is factual. Facts. Okay. So when you're dealing with law, you speak in legalese, and we, we speak in English right now. No, right? no, no. They speak English. Okay. I'm going to let you have that. Been doing it for 30 years, my man. All right. 30 years. Sit down with the Google search. All right. I don't really like Google. Uh, whatever you're doing, I'm <laughs> deeper in it than you are. I really don't. You know, Miss, he's not gonna change, Ms. West. So you have to make a decision whether you want to stay with him or not. I mean, you five children deep. <laughs> and 17 years deep, and you ain't going nowhere. You're gonna be with I think, I, 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 think I, I think it speaks volumes that he won't do a small thing for you like that. I think it speaks volumes that he causes you, calls you a bitch in front of your kids. I think it speaks volume that he would even say anything like that in front of your kids and that your kids have to intervene on your behalf. Me, I'd have been bounced, but that's just me. But whatever you do, <laughs> demand that he respects you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't right. tolerate that nonsense That's real. in the presence of your children. Because if you call... You got a daughter? That's real, yes. yes. Your daughter will learn that the man that she loves will call her a bitch and out of her name and tell her to go in the drink. You're right. And if you want to hurt, get your feelings hurt one day, watch it when one dude does and that the to same her. Thing goes and, for know, her because... and know that you are to blame for what right. happens. This right. matter is adjourned. So you keep talking about this contract. Um, do you think you're going to really stick to those beliefs, or can you change your ways and, you know? No, I'm going to stick to what I know. I don't even like to deal with beliefs. Yeah, I'm going to stick to what I know. Is it time to call it quits? I don't know if we'll do 18 years at this point. It's probably like make it or break it now.